Hello, hello. Welcome to Two Law. My name is Alexis McNally. I'm a Haitian American human rights lawyer. Through Two Law, I'll be demystifying legal careers for aspiring and early career lawyers. Today, we'll be talking about how to find and apply for an LLM program. So if you want to learn more about LLM programs and the pros and cons of getting this degree, you should check out my video, Go Get an LLM. I'll link it below for you guys. Today's video is for people interested in getting information about how to search for and apply to LLM programs. Let's get into it. In order to be eligible for an LLM program, most universities will require that you have a Bachelor of Laws, or have a Juris Doctor, or be enrolled in a Juris Doctor program. In other words, you need to have completed or be in the process of completing a first degree in law. Some LLM programs will also have language requirements. This will vary from program to program depending on the language of instruction. One way you can get an LLM is as part of a dual degree program like I did. Check to see if your current or prospective law schools offer dual degrees. You may not have to know that this is something you are going to do when you initially start law school. You also might not need to make any commitments in advance when applying for a JD or LLB. This is really going to vary from program to program and from university to university. At my university, a person could just decide during their first or second year of law school that they wanted to go abroad for their third year and get their LLM. It is, of course, better if you do have some kind of idea in advance that a dual degree is something that you are interested in. This is because you'll need to satisfy your credit hour requirements for your home university, for the foreign university if studying abroad, and the state bar if you plan to take the bar. Some universities and state bars will require a certain number of in-classroom study credit hours at an ABA accredited institution. I know this is true for the New York bar and I've linked some information about this below. This means you should come up with some kind of plan so that you can make sure you will actually be able to graduate and take the bar if you decide at the last minute that you do want to get an LLM through a dual degree. As far as the application process to get into a dual degree program, this again is going to vary by university. Each university will have a list of possible dual degree programs or partner universities. In my case, I had to go through an internal approval process at my home school and then apply directly to the foreign institution where I was seeking to get an LLM. My university was checking to make sure that I had the requisite credit hours in order to graduate with my JD. They also checked to make sure that I had taken a certain number of bar courses, such as torts, property, corporations, etc. After I got the green light from my home school, I applied to the foreign institution just as anyone else would, following the instructions on their website and submitting what they requested. you are not interested in or no longer able to get your LLM through a dual degree program, there are still tons of options available to you. You can find these options on various LLM search engines and I'll highlight three for you guys. One, mastersportal.com, two, llmguide.com, and three, lsac.org. As I mentioned in my last video, an LLM is a master's in law. On mastersportal.com, you can find LLM programs in addition to other legal or advocacy-focused master's programs. We'll just type in law and type in Europe. You can search by continent, which I think is really cool. And then it populates a list and you can sort in various ways. We'll sort by cost. Look. Some of these programs are just a couple of hundred dollars. Next, let's check out llmguide.com. Let's search USA. 
And look, there are a list of schools and details about the LLM programs available at those schools. What's also cool about LLMguide.com is that there are discussion boards so you can get the tea on these programs before you get invested. The discussion boards are also used to build community. Look, people are asking here if there's been any news or on decisions and if a WhatsApp group has been created yet. So nice. Lastly, guys, if you are looking exclusively for programs in the United States and Canada, I encourage you to check out lsac.org. I'll link all of these below for you in the description box. There isn't a uniform list of items that you'll need in order to apply for an LLM program. Each university and program is going to have their own requirements and guidelines. However, here are some of the common things that you will need to gather. A resume, diplomas, degrees, transcripts, language test scores in some cases, um, for international students planning to study in the U.S., if English is not your mother tongue, you will need to have an IELTS or TOEFL score. Another thing you will need is a personal statement. This will be your opportunity to tell an institution more about you and how your interests and experiences make you the perfect fit for that program and university. You'll want to tell the university why you think their specific LLM will be of use to you and how it will shape your career trajectory. All right, so that is an overview of how you can find and apply to LLM programs. Drop your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.